Do you think that this old nasty floor mat is going to protect the carpet in your overland rig? Well, you are super wrong. These are the real deal right here. Stay tuned. I'll tell you why. Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. I put out weekly overlanding content just for you. Now, what we have here is my floor mat from my second gen Tacoma. Now this is roughly 2013-ish, so we're going on 11 years old, and this is from WeatherTech. And I literally have hated this mat since day one. As you can see on the back here, the whole thing, even though I'm not living in the desert anymore, it's still tacky. It picks up the fuzz in the carpet. It actually pulls up some of the carpet itself, so it's not in good shape. It never really lasted that well, even from day one, like I said. Also, within the black here, you can see a lot of red, even though I've been, I've scrubbed these multiple times from Sedona, the red rock there, that red clay, once it gets wet and it gets into the pores here, it just never came out. So WeatherTech is leaving my family of Toyotas and they're never coming back. All right, I don't need this thing out here getting wet. Now, this is actually the second time I'm doing this video. I did a side-by-side -side comparison between the exact contour and the weather beater earlier. Not only did I get the two different mats confused with each other, and I also tried to compare a four-year-old floor mat with a brand new floor mat, which talking to some friends really isn't a true comparison. So I decided to change it up. Now, what we have here on the table in front of me is going to be a full lineup of the Husky floor mats. It's gonna be the exact contour, the weather beater, and then my old weather beater, which I was trying to compare to earlier. So this one here is the old weather beater, and it's actually in really good condition. This thing is almost four years old, and maybe a little over four years old, and it really looks good. And this is the old design, come to find out. I didn't know that until I actually got the new one which is this one here. And this is the new style weather beater and it is quite a bit different than the old style. So I really am good that I made that error and I'm fixing it now because now I get to make a comparison between what you can actually currently buy from Husky. You can't buy old style weather beater. You can only buy this style weather beater. So it's actually a fair comparison now. And this one here is the exact contour, which is their highest end floor mat from Husky. And it is really nice. Now, let me tell you what the differences are between the two or three, depending on how you look at it. Real quick, I kind of want to compare the old weather beater style with the new weather beater style, just so that people can have an idea of the differences between the new generation. Now, this is the older weather beater style, and this is from my 2020 Tacoma, and I got this in 2019. So we're coming up on over four years now, and it is in really good condition. This is what you can kind of expect from the quality of a Husky after over four years of serious off-roading and overlanding abuse. This is the new style and it is surprisingly different. Um, and I would say not in a good way. First off, I noticed that there's no holes for the twist locks on the floor uh, carpet of the Tacoma, uh, which was surprising because Toyota puts a lot of time, effort and energy into creating these things to make these floor mats not move around. And Husky decided to not add that feature into this floor mat on the more budget-friendly floor mat, which the Weather Beater series is. Looking at the overall construction of it, it is very similar. Um, however, you could tell the material on this is a lot different. This feels a lot less grippy, a lot more plasticky. This feels more rubberized, it's got a little bit more flex to it. It's just a different feel. This feels more glossy. And I don't know if that's the coating or if it's the material itself, but it just feels less polished than the old style. Also, the logo is different. Other than that, the actual, you know, sizing coverage and contour of it looks very similar, even though this is from my third gen Tacoma and this is going into my second gen Tacoma. So the four actual outline is just a pinch different, but not much. And on the back side, they look very similar. The weather beater here has very aggressive spikes on the new one, the old style. It's a little bit less aggressive. Other than that, very, very similar in construction and quality. Okay, old weather beater aside, now we're just gonna do a direct comparison between the exact contour and the current weather beater, which is going to be the offerings from Husky at the current time, because these are both brand new, like I said. Now, looking at these two side by side, there's a vast difference between the two. Earlier, when I was comparing the new exact contour and the old weather beater, they looked a lot similar. It was a lot harder to keep them straight, especially when you 
flip flop on the table for one clip. And then the next thing you know, you're spending 10 minutes talking about them in the wrong uh, orientation. First and foremost, the biggest difference between the exact contour, which is here, and the weather beater, which is here, is going to be the price point. The exact contour is at a much higher price at $139.99 for the second, third gen Tacoma, kind of similar price point. Um, so keep that in mind, different vehicles will have different price points. That's just what it is for the vehicles that I chose them for. And the weather beater price point is going to be $89.99. So 90 bucks and 140 bucks. That's $50 difference. That's a big difference between uh, two front floor mats. Uh, both offerings also come in a rear floor mat, which is are the really nice big ones. The exact contour rear is $114.99 and then the weather beater rear is $79.99. Going into the differences between the two floor mats physically is going to be another huge difference. This feels like it's a completely different material than what the exact contour is. Um, the exact contour is a lot more flexible and it you know, it's just got more movement to it where the weather beater seems to be a lot more rigid and a lot more stiff. Um, also, they say that the exact contour is going to be a lot more comfortable on your bare feet where the weather beater is more uh, industrial application. So it's kind of more for work boots, that kind of thing. So you're definitely not going to get that smoother feel. Although rubbing my hand across it isn't, it's not a huge noticeable deal. The exact contour is softer and would feel nicer on your feet, but let's test that later. From this perspective, you can actually get a much better view of the sheen, the shininess that is on the weather beater compared to the more flat matte uh, texture of the exact contour. Also, you get a kind of a better visualization of there's much larger gaps that go much deeper. The folds are a lot more severe on the exact contour you're gonna be able to get a lot of water sitting in this and not sloshing around. Whereas the weather beater, the spacing is a lot larger between these contours and they're definitely not as drastically deep. Again, on the exact contour, you have the ability to lock them into the factory Toyota notches with the push and a twist, where this, they just kind of sit over, there's no locking, which is actually too bad. Like I said, Toyota puts a lot of time and effort energy into making that system and they didn't include that in the weather beater, which I really think was a big oversight for Husky. Little different badging on the exact contour and the weather beater. The weather beater, I feel like would last a lot longer being that it's just in Boston here. On the backside of both, the weather beater has these really sharp cone spikes covering every inch of the back of the weather beater. Whereas the exact contour, um, it only has these flat kind of nubs on the floor pan section of it. Apparently this is spring in Montana. It's snowing out. It also should be noted the exact contour, this one here, is significantly heavier and more, f I don't know, floppy. You know, it's just got more movement to it than the weather beater, which is a lot lighter and a lot more rigid. Now let's see how they fit in each vehicle. This is the exact contour into the third gen Tacoma. And this has actually already been in here for a few days before I pulled it out. So it kind of already has the shape down pat very easy to go in and it fits very, very tight and nice. And now the weather beater in the second gen Tacoma. It definitely fits, but it's a lot less refined of a fit. Sitting on the exact contour with just socks on is very nice and comfortable. Barefoot is also very nice and comfortable. No complaints at all. In the second gen Tacoma with the weather beater floor mat with the socks on, it actually does not feel bad at all. With the bare feet, it's definitely not as comfortable. It's a little bit rougher. Um, it's more of a plasticky feel instead of the, I don't know, more rubbery feel. I really can't explain it, but it's just not as comfortable. First time I did this, we had snow on the ground. Now all I have is mud. Let's get these nice and dirty. Well, it's snowing again. Let's hit these with a pressure washer and see how they clean up. They both look pretty good just with the power washer. 
I gave both mats a quick blow off with the little uh, Hercules job site blower, which is not super powerful, but ends up doing the job pretty okay. And now I'm just gonna give another quick little wipe down with the microfiber towel just to get all the water off so we can see what we're working with here. Looking at the exact contour and weather beater post muddy footprint nastiness and just a straight power washing with just straight water. And then of course getting blown off with the uh, contract blower and then a wipe down with microfiber towels. They look in near new condition. I really like the way these are handling. Uh, before I used to have to use soap and water to get the grime off and these just blow right off, which is great. Now, the one thing I will note is that the weather beater here did show signs of some scuffing in the uh, top coat here. Um, you can definitely see here, 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 there's a bunch of um, where I was kind of dragging my feet with the muck, trying to get it nice and dirty. There is some scratching here. And the uh, this is actually the second time that the exact contour has gone through this. And there's a little scuff right here, but it's not bad. There's definitely a lot more show of wear on the weather beater. Honestly, I am very impressed with both of these floor mats. They both perform very well. There's some slight difference between the two of them. And my personal choice is I would lean towards the exact contour over the weather beater. And the main reason being is I like the little bit better fit. I like the, um, just the feel of it. It's a little bit more, I don't know, pliable to get into all the nooks and crannies of the carpet. And I like the look at these a little better because the fit and finish of this mat itself is just a little bit nicer than the weather beater. So my eye likes the look of this better over the weather beater. However, that being said, you cannot argue with the value of the weather beater. This is $90, this is $140, well, for the set. So there's a big price jump going from the weather beater to the exact contour. However, I can see where that money is being spent in materials and the fit and finish. And then of course, you have the way it actually mounts in the vehicle using the carpet lock. Um, again, personal preference, if you have the money to spend on really nice floor mats, exact contour every day. However, if you're on a budget, but you still want that amazing coverage, then the weather beater is definitely your option. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to help channel grow. Also, if you want to support the channel, go check out advbuilt.com and check out all the cool swag. I got new hat patches made. They're super cool. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>